Welcome Forex traders to this video brought to you by Admiral Markets where I take a look at the last week's price action of course through the SMB but also at what we can expect with the ECB this upcoming week. Before we actually take a look at the charts though of course and the euro dollar pound dollar dollar yen and Aussie specifically as always this disclaimer explaining the fact that this video is intended for a global audience and it may not be suitable for everyone. Please visit AdmiralMarketsGlobal.com select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity um, for more information on that. Also, please be aware that trading for exchange is considered high risk and may not be suitable for all traders and investors. Therefore, please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. This video is not advice and is for educational and informational purposes only. And by continuing watching this video, you agree with the disclaimer and you can always request a copy by going to admiralmarketsglobal.com as well. All right, let's take a look at the charts. This is the euro versus the Swiss franc, not a typical chart, of course, that we look at on the usual video analysis on Mondays. And this time, of course, we do because of the SNB, Swiss National Bank, that decided to get rid of the peg and not intervene in the market uh, as previously communicated. It stopped that peg of 120 and the Swiss franc rose in value, thereby euro Swissy falling. The Swissy not only rising against the euro, but against all of the pairs and the intervention of the Swiss uh, therefore removed and the markets therefore unleashed into a kind of uh, chaotic uh, high volatility movement that we saw on Thursday. So that was a very very big uh, event, a lot, of, uh, yeah, a lot of discomfort with traders that were stuck in trades perhaps and etc um, etc et which could be very tough for the trading. This week we have a similar potential of, of a rocking event, uh, although a bit more expected, a bit more planned. The Swiss SMB, uh, of course, a bit more unexpectedly hitting the market. This week we have ECB quantitative easing potential on the table. That too could affect the euro against the Swiss franc as well. So if the quantitative easing uh, will will be introduced again or be increased then I should say then um, you know we could see the euro fall perhaps even more against the Swiss franc and uh, also of course against other pairs like the euro dollar the euro dollar fell a lot with the during the SMB decision uh, statement as well and we could expect that to follow through so this week is a lot of fundamental news because the Bank of England votes and the Bank of Canada interest rate are on the table as well so a lot of fundamental things going on from a technical point of view we can see that the euro dollar uh, hasn't changed at all it's quite a repetitive story week in week out it's just all the time looking at this bearishness and looking for more downside basically as long as this euro dollar downtrend continues we've hit 115 last week uh, just below it as a low and uh, I would expect again this week to be a downside week last four weeks we've already traveled thousand pips but until we hit 113 which in my opinion is the bigger target why because if you look at the monthly chart and you put a fib on the very first bearish impulse oh i used the wrong uh, key here first very bearish impulse if you look at my cursor here and then you look at the triangle after that so if you look at the very first swing and put a target on that you can see that 113 is the main target of that first bearish swing and then after that we had the triangle going like this I will put the lines on the triangle you can see it a bit better the orange line symbolizing that triangle the break of the triangle so 113 is that first target so that could be a significant bouncing spot and I think that this week we could reach that level and that would be my main target when I take shorts this week uh, when would I take shorts of course is another question the target is clear in my opinion and if we look at the weekly chart, well, one thing I want to keep an eye on is last week's high. I don't think we will breach that. So that's a natural level we can keep an eye on. And if you then look at the four-hour chart, putting a fib from swing high to swing low has worked pretty well so far in all those weeks and could work again this week. So looking for any of these fibs, we're going to take a look at how far price gets and look for price action candlestick patterns at those fibs. For more downside of course <clears throat> something you want to be considering of course is the fact that uh, uh, during the news event of course the volatility could be very high so you want to be cautious of that now let's take a look at the pound dollar which is a bit different than the euro dollar the pound didn't go down as much as the euro during uh, last week's events and we see actually a kind of a doji candle here uh, and the low of last week didn't break the low of the week before so it's, it's a bit of an indecision 
and we see that indecision appearing pretty close to the support level so i wouldn't be surprised that the pound dollar it will face some struggle as it gets closer to this big monthly support at 148. we could still maybe see some fall uh, towards that level i wouldn't be surprised if, if it inches lower but uh, the maybe the speed here could slow down as we get closer to the bigger support levels here on the four hour chart we can see kind of a bear flag here being made and one thing i would like to see before i take any shorts is a break of this bear flag in fact uh, the other of course thing that could happen is that this bear flag gets extended and we can see actually a bounce perhaps at this level and then we could see a turnaround again when price gets up to the 50 fib because price stopped at the 38.2 and the 23.6 so the next fib that price would probably stop is the 50. that would be an interesting short at the 50 fib in my opinion and uh, another short could be upon the break of that bear flag for one more follow through down to that 148 149 zone where we have the monthly support dollar yen now this is the four hour chart heavily correcting as you can see big swing bearish swing here to the downside some correction but couldn't break this top now following through again to the downside and uh, basically i wouldn't be surprised if we finish this bigger correction by correcting all the way down to the 38.2 fib at 114 here so we're seeing a price definitely struggle with the uptrend here definitely on the daily chart uptrend but this these recent swing high swing lows here on the four hour chart as you can see indicating the struggle uh, and the correction on the daily and uh, i'm looking for 114 for longs back to the upside now time for a look at the australian versus the us dollar and you can see that the aussie has actually had a pretty uh, bullish week in fact because it hasn't been able to continue lower at all it in fact found support and is slowly but surely moving up didn't break the 80 psychological round number and uh, i'm still cautious on the aussie i said last week already that to me uh, it looked like a bit difficult uh, situation because of the downtrend very bullish candle if anything uh, perhaps a, a bigger reversal and indeed as the retracement of last week's candle uh, actually two weeks candle ago got retraced last week we found support indeed right here at 8070 as you can see the low of two weeks ago did not get broken and last week we had another bullish candle so it is looking if anything more bullish and basically more looking as a retracement to the upside than anything the retracement is a bit of corrective looking at the orange lines you can see it looks like a, a wedge so in that regard if price does reach a resistance spot that is interesting like the 38.2 or 50 fib those could still be good short zones for further downside uh, but I will look for candlestick confirmations uh, because of the Aussie could uh, could get some acceleration to the upside and I don't want to get caught in the short. All right, this is the lineup of the webinars this week. We got uh, fading the momentum for reversals on Thursday, the Pro Learning Lab. We also have two live trading labs on Tuesday, Wednesday morning. And on Monday and Wednesday evening, Tarantula is going to take a look at the weekly FX recap and also which conditions, market conditions to avoid on Wednesday. So great webinars lined up. I hope to see you in all of these and make sure to take a look at Avon Markets in, in social media as well. Thanks again for joining and wish you all happy hunting. Cheers.